Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to this week's vlog. This week, super stoked, uh, super happy that we're gonna go ahead and install the um, AMS uh, intake manifold for the GTR. I've had it for uh, quite some time now, but I finally uh, got time to, uh, I guess, install it now. And uh, it looks like it's gonna be pretty straightforward. Um, the only thing I had to do was uh, get the proper fittings and AMS didn't really supply you with a whole lot of fittings at all or I think not adequate at all to uh, do the install so I had to source out a whole bunch of them because I didn't know the thread pitch and but anyways I'll just show you guys uh, I'll just show you guys so when I unpack the um, the manifold uh, you get a UPS package and inside the package is pretty much your wiring harness for the throttle bodies some mounting brackets don't know where those go yet i'll just uh, figure that out um a dash four dash three block off plates i mean we'll block off plugs and another uh well three of them and these are dash threes and these are dash fours and then of course the manifold itself so the dash three goes in here another dash three goes in here dash three goes into this one and dash four into this one so kind of disappointed because i didn't really realize all the ones that i needed so you have to go and source it all over yourself or you buy the kit themselves um the evap holes and uh, boost uh, line kit um, so of course doing that um, it's kind of confusing uh, they're not very straightforward on their uh, I guess website it's not very intuitive and yeah so if something that's very straightforward can be very I guess disappointing and frustrating because now I have to run around and get all these different types of fittings and stuff just to make it fit. Um, so we decided to go the hard route. We're going to go with a AN fittings. Um, it was easier at the, at the time right now to get them because these things, no one carries. It's super hard. I don't know how it is in the States because I was told in the States parts are really easy to get, but in Canada here, mm -mm, uh, no go. Just the thread size, thread pitches and stuff, it's just uh, hard to come, uh, come by and hard to get. So with that said, I end up getting all the parts and now we're ready to install it. I'm just waiting the car to cool down and uh, hopefully it goes easy. So again, for the route that I'm going, you guys, I'm going to go with all the AN fittings. Uh, depends on your guys' build and what you want to do with your uh, engine bay. You may not go the same route as me so you might not have to get all these stuff you might just go the easy route and buy the kit from AMS which is like almost a hundred Canadian to get the fittings here and just plug it straight in into your vacuum hoses and your boost uh, for your blow valves and your evap so that is the easiest way out get a kit from them and it might not look as nice so but I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, tightening all the uh, fittings that I got and we'll get started on the install. So I went ahead and removed all the couplings for the throttle bodies, unplugged the uh, electrical and removed all the vacuum hoses and stuff and now we're going to go ahead and remove all the 10 mils for the evap system and the uh, other 10 mils underneath here and uh, it should come right up. By the way, you guys, if you want a more in-depth uh, video on how to remove the intake manifold, uh, check out the um, my spark plug change uh, video. I'll put the link up here somewhere. Uh, check that out, you guys, if you want more in-depth. So I got the stock manifold out, and now we're going to transfer the throttle bodies over to the AMS intake manifold but there's a certain uh, orientation that they want so that the uh, 
I guess for clearance. Uh, so we got to swap them out from left to right, right to left and 180 degree turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, you guys. Yeah, so uh, be right back. The auto bodies are back on. I moved the uh, sensor, which is originally here. And also I went ahead and uh, removed the uh, EVAP system, which is held on by two 10 mils on both sides here. And I removed it at the uh, check valve uh, location here. So we're gonna clean up the engine bay and it's going to look a lot nicer here. Go right here and right here and unplug it at the solenoid here and the check valve. So we're going to relocate this so it's going to vaporize outside the engine bay. And uh, we're good to go. Looks uh, pretty clean and I'm going to go ahead and tape this off and then go from there. So now that I have the engine bay out uh, I think I know where these go these brackets that they supplied you I think there's like support brackets. It looks like it goes right here one for each side so far it looks Where the evap used to go so I'll figure that out and uh, It's going pretty smooth. Oh my god, you guys I thought it would be a really simple install, but it's turning out to be like just a big mess here so I had to remove the, uh, I guess the lower runners to get to the cylinder heads and then it's becoming a, quite a task you guys. So I got to take all these spline bolts and they're like 16 spline and kind of lose my shit right now. But uh, hopefully I can clear it and get it in. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit here. So there you go, I just removed it. And this is the lower one and that's the upper and this is the lower runner so okay let's see if it clears um, I thought I can just throw it in but it, it would just wouldn't clear the two fuel rails and even though even if we did I wouldn't be able to get to the bolts here so all right you guys I finally got it in so you do have to disassemble the intake manifold so you got to take the uh, lower runner out and to clear, you have to do uh, is remove the fuel rail, move it aside, and then get it all in. And now I'm gonna torque them all down. Uh, mounting it onto the lower uh, runner to the upper runner, um, I end up have to take the um, throttle bodies off again because it would just wouldn't clear the um, the uh, upper intake. Uh, sorry, uh, upper intercooler piping here. So I had to take that off same as this side here all right uh, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to do this vlog in two parts uh, ran into a big snag the uh, intercooler uh, piping doesn't line up with the um, I guess the new intake manifold um, yeah it just wasn't going the way I planned and uh, we had to call in or I'm gonna have to source out uh, some new piping or from AMS and I think it's going to be an arm and a leg and I don't even know if they want to uh, sell me just individual parts but I'm going to explain that and go into more detail about that issue with AMS uh, in the next vlog or once I finish up with this vlog but um, sorry guys uh, thanks for sticking with me and uh, yeah, we'll finish it next week. I'll find somebody to do it. Uh, we'll go that route. All right, so tune in next week, you guys, and I will have this done by then, and it's going to look beautiful. And yeah. All right, guys, so don't forget to uh, smash that subscribe button and turn the notification, and we'll see you guys in next week's vlog. See ya.